in this video we will discuss that how to implement any boolean function using a mux so there are several ways we will be discussing one way in this video and the other methods will be discussing some other videos so what question will get here is so the question will be so the question will be a function will be given okay so function some uh, a b c three variables will be there and it will be given that it is a sum of product of let us say 0, 1, 3, 4 and 7. Okay, so, the uh, it will be like and the question is implement the given expression using mocks. So, previously we have done this particular experiment using logic gates or boolean expressions. Now, we are going to use that as a mux. So, before proceeding how to design with mux, so the first is you write the truth table. This is the output I need. So, for that first write the truth table and according to the output will be further going for the design. So, here clear, clearly I know that there are three inputs which are a, b and c. So, write all possible combinations here 0, 1, 0. 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 and 1 1 0 1 1 1 okay so this is my input and there is my output which is my function is given so where so 0 it is 1 1 it is 1 2 0 3 1 4 1 5 0 6 0 and 7 1 so wha how what i have written so whatever the question it is given i have just represented that Okay. So, this is the output that I need from a multiplexer. Now, the truth table I need to modify according to a multiplexer because this is a truth table of a boolean expression. So, how to do that? So, we know that in multiplexer what I need? I need a output which is i0, i1, i2 and i3. Fine. So, do this. So, there is one way first we will discuss that and there will be another way we will be discussing that. So, the first way is if it is not written that using 2 cross 1 multiplexer or 8 cross 1 multiplexer you can use any method fine. So, first method is first divide this multiplexer into part of 2 the truth table I have divided into 4 parts. So, here 4 parts means I will write i0 this is one input I will write i1 I will write i3 now i3 i2 and i3 ok and the c the c variable we have to connect that to the input part so i'll keep it separately as a separate box so that we can understand easily so this will be connected to the input so what input how to connect that so see here that i0 so value of i0 is what so that is equals to f so how to take y equals to i0 and f equals to 1 so i am saying that i'll connect the c to the input so whenever c is equals to 0 then the output is 1 whenever c is equals to 1 output is also here that means here the value is always equals to 1 so irrespective of the value of c next is if here c value is equals to 0 the output is equals to 0 if the c value is equals to 1 then the output is equals to 1 also that means this i1 is valued e exactly equals to whatever the value of c is there so next i2 equals to what so see here whenever c is equals to 0 my output is 1 whenever c is equals to 1 my output is equals to 0 that means it is opposite of c so i will write here c dash so what is the value of i3 again so see here so this value is 0 and the output is 0 so when c value is equals to 1 at that time the output is equals to 1 here so i will write it is simple c so now i know there are four inputs i, I need to handle and then to four inputs what i need i need two selection line so combinedly if you see this two okay so this area this part is what i can write 0 0 a b is 0 0 so this part what i can write 0 1 so this part what i can write both are 1 0 so i can write 1 0 here in this case it is both are 1 1 so i'll write 1 1 here right so this is nothing but the value of a and b so this i can take as s 0 and s 1 now okay so now how to design the circuit let us see here so for the circuit i need that there will be a 4 cross 1 multiplexer is there so i'll write the inputs here i0 i1 i2 and i3 so four inputs are there 
okay for my logic point of view from the question point of view inputs are a b and c right so i'll take here so i'll write here a b and c these are my actual inputs i need so to the selection line s0 and s1 it is taken as a and b so if i write here s0 and here s1 so s0 becomes b here right so s0 will be connected to b and s1 will be connected to a okay so where the c will be connected how to know that so see here i0 value is equals to 1 so you take one variable 1 here and connect that to i then i1 is equals to c so i1 will be connected to c variable so this will be i1 next is uh, i2 is equals to c dash so how to connect that so for that i need c and then put a not get here okay so this will be connected to i2 and i3 is equals to c so c is already here just connect it and the output is equals to y so let us see whether it works or not so i know that if uh, the input is 3 3 means a b c value is 0 1 1 okay so if 0 1 1 is there so where is that case so you can see 0 1 1 so this is the case in this case what should be my output my output should be 1 so let us see it is happening or not so 0 1 1 0 1 1 if i are taking the value so a and b is 0 1 so here 0 1 is there so 0 1 is the which condition this condition okay so when 0 1 is there what will be my output i1 i1 is equals to c so 0 1 is there so i1 i1 is connected to c and c value is equals to 1 here so if c value i1 is equals to in that case your i1 is equals to 1 and y will be equals to 1 in this case right so now this i can say this is satisfying my equation here okay so this is one method of uh, uh, implementing k uh, multiplexer for boolean expressions so there is a another method also that we will discuss in the next class